We're in the fifth algebra piece, 1101, and I'm looking at page seven and eight. It is called multiplication. Nope, turn the page. Uh, factoring polynomials before multiplication. <clears throat> we did uh, a little bit of this in the previous section of this pace, plus we've done it in the other paces, so we're kind of building on what we've done. Remember here we have the difference of perfect squares. Whenever we're doing one of these, first of all, I look to see, is there a common factor I can factor out? And then can I do reverse fa um, distributive property or do the FOIL method? Well, this, I can kind of like do the FOIL method. And remember the middle term is going to cancel out. So I do X and X, take the square root of 16, front and back. Okay, and then because there is no middle term, one's positive, one's negative. That way, I'll get positive 4x and negative 4x when I do the OI in the FOIL method. And then for the last, I'll have 4 times 4, negative times positive, so negative 16. Okay, so that one's easy. Times 21, and now we're going to factor this into two quantities. All right. So I want to end up with one in the middle. So if I do two and six, nah, I can't get I can't get one out of that. One and twelve, nope. Three and four. So try three and four, and then figure out which one needs to be positive, which one needs to be negative. Now, when you do that, you're going to see that one of these. Okay. So let me just say it's this one is going to cancel against this one. So the whole, when we put it in parentheses, we cancel the whole quantity. That whole term acts as a factor by itself. So this factor cancels this factor. And then you remember from, you know, earlier in math, I can cancel this way. So I can divide this by seven and get one, divide this by seven and get three, okay? So I'm going to let you finish this problem. So we would multiply this times this, and then whatever answer you have left over here, that goes on the bottom. Okay? Let's look over here. We have three terms. Good grief. <clears throat> Looks complicated. Not as bad as you think. Okay, so let's see here. We have a common factor that we can take out. Uh, whoops. It would actually be B. And that would leave me, if I take the B out of both of these, I would be left with A here. But then when I take B out of that, what's left? If you are tempted to say nothing, think again, because I have to have something so that when I do distributive property, I have this coming back again. So B times what equals B? And the answer is one, right? So a minus 1 over 3b, okay? And then here I can factor this to be two parentheses. This I can factor to be two parentheses. And again, this is like this one. It's the difference of perfect squares. So I can do a, a, 1, 1. One's positive, one's negative. All right, piece of cake. Got to do, I gotta factor this up here. A, A. I gotta end up with one, so something times something equals one. And then when I add them, I get two A for the middle term. When I add the outer and the inner. So I'll let you fill in the blank there. And then over here I have A plus one. Okay? Now we can take the entire top compared to the entire bottom and factor, I mean cancel anything on the top against something on the bottom. So I can cancel this B against this B, okay? From what I have here already, I know that I have A minus 1 here, and I had an A minus 1 here, so those will cancel. And maybe, uh, maybe an A plus 1 will cancel against something here, or maybe this will cancel. So you can just kind of see what else will cancel, and then you're just going to take whatever is left on the top, and that stays in the numerator. Anything that's left all the way across the bottom, just put it all together, and that's your denominator. Okay? So hopefully that makes a little more sense to you, and that you'll do well as you finish these couple of pages.